everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Two Two Tuesday. Two Two Tuesday. Two Two Tuesday. And each Tuesday, I'm going to come to you with a new Two Two look or a Two Two tip. Today, we're just going to start with this basic Two Two tutorial, and it's actually not really basic because we're going to upgrade our Two Twos. This tutorial is a sewing tutorial, so if you don't know how to sew, stay tuned till next week because I'm going to show you how to use the same pattern to make a no-sew version of this tutu. And if you want to know how to sew, click over to my website after you watch this video, and then you can sign up for my upcoming e-course, and you can learn how to sew. Let's get this tutorial started. For this project, you'll need a half yard to a yard of fabric, a crochet top, this is a six inch top. You'll need a pattern, you can download one on my website, diyreci.com. You'll need tool on the bolt for the tutu. You'll need ribbon. And you'll need an elastic waistband for the tutu skirt. We're gonna start off with our crochet top and we're just gonna turn it inside out and cut off the seam. Next, you're going to measure the length that you want the crochet back to be. I'm cutting this one at seven inches. The complete instructions are on my website. Then you're going to fold one piece of your fabric in half, align the pattern along the fold, pin it down, and cut it out. You're also going to do that to your second piece of fabric, so you'll have two pieces. After you've cut out your two pieces of fabric, you're going to take your crochet top and sandwich it in between the two pieces of fabric. You're going to pin it down at one end and sew it down to secure it. After that side has been sewn into place, you're going to pull the crochet top to the other side, pin it down, and sew that side in place. It will scrunch up in the middle a little bit, and that's okay because the crochet top is elastic. Now that both ends are sewn into place, you're going to pin along the arms, or the underarms, and you're going to sew right along that side. I usually sew about the at about the quarter inch mark. So after you've done both sides, this is what it will look like. Now you're going to cut two ribbon straps of equal length and we're going to attach those through the inside of the bodice. So again, sandwiching between the two pieces of fabric, you're going to pull your straps through. And once you've pulled your straps too, you're going to pin them in place on opposite ends of the top. Once it's secure, you're going to stitch it into place using your sewing machine, and then it will look like this. And you can flip it right side out. We're almost done at this point. So now I just have this bottom end that's still open, and you're going to close that up by folding it over about a half inch, ironing it, 
and then we're going to stitch with the zigzag stitch. I like the zigzag stitch because it keeps your fabric from fraying. And just as an extra step, I like to stitch just right around the outline of the bodice top. I think it just gives it a really cute finished look. That part is optional, but I just really like how it looks. Now to seal the ends of your ribbon straps, you're just going to cut on an angle, use a lighter, be careful, and you're going to burn the ends just to seal them. And now it's time to put it on our mannequin or on our child. I'm tying the straps halter style, and this is my favorite part about this top. It really gives you some extra room in case a child is larger or smaller. There's just a lot of space and elasticity in this top. Here's the finished look with the tutu. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a comment in the description box below. Let me know what you're interested in. Um, so you can keep up with Tutu Tuesdays. Make sure you click the notification button, that bell in, at the bottom under this video so that you can be notified of the next Tutu Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Bye.